presentation in May of 2016. I've had the privilege of speaking with many optometrists and their team members about marketing. And I can appreciate the unique challenges that you have um, because it's both, you know, healthcare and retail, you know, for patients and customers. Um, and since all of you either own a private practice or you work for an OD in private practice, you have to compete against the corporate chain stores and e-commerce sites. Uh, both of them have much larger budgets for advertising to consumers. Um, I know most of you don't. That said, I do think advertising can be done effectively on a very local level. Um, you don't have to drive brand awareness to the whole world, just your local community. So regardless of wherever you practice, um, I think it's important uh, to note that, you know, communication is, is handled online now. We're all, we're all plugged in. We're all on our cell phones. Um, and that's regardless of wherever you practice. And it's regardless of the, the age, too, of your patients. Um, I've had some ODs tell me that, you know, most of my patients are older. Uh, they prefer to talk to somebody on the phone. They're not really computer savvy. But I would challenge you to sort of think through your definition of the word older. Uh, many baby boomers are approaching retirement or retired, but they have their cell phones and their mobile devices to stay in touch with their adult children and grandchildren, and they're very much plugged in. Um, so, you know, we're all online, and we have different expectations now of our service providers. We want to be able to order things online. Um, we set up reservations for dinner online. We buy tickets to concerts. Um, and so, you know, our expectations have evolved. Uh, just this past week, I, I read that um, the touch screen on our cell phones at the 10th anniversary is going to be this year that we have the touch screen. So it's hard to overstate how much has changed uh, with the changing technology. As far as appointment scheduling online goes, um, you know, the largest number of online appointments are by patients right now in that 25 to 34 age range. Uh, the trend is definitely moving this way, and it's estimated by 2019, well over half of all appointments scheduled in healthcare are going to be booked online. Um, now, on this slide, I purposely wanted to add um, ads for different uh, service providers so that you could see it's certainly not unique to healthcare. Um, there's an ad for a masseuse there at the bottom of the screen. You can book uh, a massage online. This other one is for a real estate agent. You can book a showing online. So you can see that this is sort of already in um, the awareness, if you will, of your patients and prospective patients. And certainly, you know, your, your corporate competitors have this functionality available to prospective patients. Um, I think there's a lot of fear around adding this functionality to your website because maybe you're afraid it's going to impact your operations in a negative way. Maybe your team is afraid of, you know, well, is this going to mess up our flow? Um, but I would challenge you to rethink that, you know, if, if this is something your, um, your patients uh, and prospective patients, and, and especially the younger demographic, is, is looking for in service providers, instead of thinking, well, I don't know if this is going to be really convenient for me and my team. Let's be thinking on how we can meet the needs of, of prospective patients. Um, as a marketer, I like the idea of being able to add a link to a scheduling calendar in a digital ad because it's a much more compelling uh, call to action rather than call now. So if you think about it, if somebody sees your Facebook ad or your Google AdWords and uh, and, and, and they can book an appointment right when they see the ad, you have a much better chance of capturing that patient rather than waiting until you're open for business. Um, so I, I decided to partner with Solution Reach just because uh, they're a trusted vendor partner of ours. I've heard that Limelight, which is their online appointment scheduling tool, is a really good tool. And I thought that they could kind of give us some insight into how it works and maybe um, eliminate any fear around adding this kind of technology within practice operations. Um, I think it would be an amazing enhancement for 2017. And so today we have Justin Patch and Stephanie McHenry with Solution Reach to present Limelight.
Thank you so much, Maddie. Um, we're going to go ahead and start our presentation today with a video about Limelight. When it comes to your practice, scheduling patients can be a challenge. And that goes for their end of it, too. It doesn't have to be this hard. Just put your patient in the limelight. Limelight. When it comes to your practice, scheduling patients can be a challenge. And that goes for their end of it, too. It doesn't have to be this hard. Just put your patient in the limelight. Mindline is a new intelligent scheduling system developed by Solution Reach. It enables patients to easily locate providers and schedule the appointment type they want by themselves, online, anytime, day or night, based on information pulled straight from your practice management system. With Limeline, your schedule is transparently clear so patients can pick a slot that works for them, and you'll be kept in the loop with real-time notifications on your desktop. Limeline will hold their time until you take action, reducing the chance of double-booked appointments. It's your patient's time to shine. Make that happen with Limelight from Solution Reach. All right. So Limelight is a seamless integration for accurate real-time scheduling. Limelight is fully integrated to sync with your practice management software, so patients are selecting openings from your real schedule, not ours. Um, it's not a generic calendar that just shows your hours of operation and a general schedule of openings. For example, if any particular day you have an opening at like 11 a.m. and another at 3 p.m., those will be the only openings that will be displayed on the online calendar. And the immediate on-screen notifications are key because the pop-up notifications on your screen can ensure that newly booked appointments won't be overlooked. It's important that these requests are able to be received and responded to in a timely manner. And Limelight syncs with your schedule every two minutes, which allows you to display accurate openings and send requests as a pop-up notification on your screen, which allows you to easily input patient information onto your system and schedule those appointments, as well as confirm them with the patient for their request within seconds. Okay, so intelligent booking, and that's really what Limelight is, you know, doing. It's, it's helping your patients schedule, but it's doing it intelligently. And basically, in a nutshell, once your patient is able to select which provider they're looking to schedule with, which appointment type they're looking to schedule, um, they will then see what's actually available in your schedule at that time. And like Justin said, it syncs up every two minutes, so it's going to only show what's actually available at that time. Um, once they've selected the day and time, they fill in their patient information, and they submit their request. Once they've submitted the request, it actually removes that day and time from the line line schedule, so you don't have to worry about multiple patients online trying to book the exact same day and time, thus removing any kind of double booking or, you know, a patient even seeing something that isn't there anymore or isn't available anymore. Um, so it takes it out of, the, out of play until your office actually responds to the request, they'll have the opportunity from the pop-up to actually accept or reject the appointment. If they accept it, great, it's going to keep it out of that schedule. If they reject it, no problem, it's going to pop back in as available within two minutes of them rejecting it, and so someone else can then schedule that appointment. So, next we're going to get into customizable appointment types. Great. So, the nice thing about uh, having the customization with this is you set an unlimited number of appointment types and lengths, and Limelight will do the rest. Patients can book the right appointment for the right length of time, so you don't waste time for your patients or your practice. And here, customization is really it's key. Uh, we recognize that every practice is different, and they may do things differently. By allowing you to create unique appointment types that are worded the exact way you want them to be worded, and you can assign them to each specific provider, it gives you more control of what patients can request. For example, if Dr. Smith prefers to have a comprehensive eye exam that's 30 minutes long, but Dr. Rogers at the same practice prefers to do a 20 minute long comprehensive exam, we can create appointment types that have unique durations exclusive to each provider. Or if one provider is the only one that does diabetic exams and the other one does glaucoma exams, for instance, we can make exclusive 
appointment types per provider. And then, of course, we've got the unlimited schedule links. Um, the real benefit here, I mean, you can make customized links that can be placed anywhere that a prospective patient may be able to see it, giving your practice the ultimate competitive advantage. Uh, Schedule Now links can be integrated into your website, social media platforms like Facebook or Google+, uh, even posted onto Twitter, uh, or even incorporated into your automated messaging system uh, like we use through Solution Reach. But having an online calendar for your patients to schedule their online appointments is a very powerful tool to ensure that you always have a full schedule, but it doesn't fulfill that purpose unless your patients have access to it. And being that we give you the ability to place links on your website or social media outlets, it gives your patients an easy way to access it and start using it. Okay, and so that does give them access 24-7, which is really key. Um, I have a family of five and we all wear glasses and contacts. Um, I may not be thinking on a daily basis about my kids' prescriptions, right? Um, but we all know that they're always changing. And so typically when I notice this, it's usually at 8 o'clock at night. We're watching TV as a family, and I notice one of them is squinting through their glasses <laughs> trying to see. So, um, you know, all I have to do with Limelight, great. Jump on your website, click the button to schedule an appointment, and write from my cell phone, right when I'm thinking about it, I can go ahead and schedule that appointment. Um, with my mom brain, I'm not going to remember the next day, like, oh, yeah, I need to schedule that appointment. Um, if I've already been able to take care of it that evening, great. When you guys get back to the office in the morning, the staff is going to be able to get that appointment in the schedule and notify me, and, and I'll be all set. It's good to go. They have access from everything. So it'll be from your desktop, laptop, phone, um, you know, everything. So you're good to go. Um, what I really like as well um, you, this actually kind of leads into our recare and getting your patients back to the office. So Limelight is fully integrated with Solution Reach, and that really benefits your practice. Um, on the recare messages, which are really key in gaining additional revenue from your existing patient base, um, basically what we'll do, we can add the link to Limelight right on that messaging. So we send that out about, well, typically it's set up for about a year, and it'll send out to all your patients. It'll say something like, hi, Stephanie, we haven't seen you for a while. Click here to request an appointment. So with Limelight, we'll have it say schedule an appointment. Um, it can go on text, email, uh, wherever you like on those recare messages. They click the button, and right from there, they're going to be able to schedule. When we set up your solution range, typically we only go back about a year, because otherwise your office would be flooded with calls and your front desk staff probably is not going to be super happy with it, <laughs> with having so much time on the phone. With Limelight, we can actually go back as far as we'd like. We can take it back to when you actually open the doors of your practice, and we can send out those recare messages to everybody. You're going to get a lot of pop-ups, but it's, you know, 30 seconds to a minute at the most to schedule that pop-up appointment for your practice. So it's going to save time while filling the schedule you know, giving your staff a lot of control of the calendar still, um, but still giving uh, that ability for everybody to schedule and get back into the office. So that's huge, right? Um, and, you know, obviously being tied into your solution reach is, is key. Um, so what we want to do, I want to share with you one of our um, doctor's um, testimonials. And he's been using Limelight, really enjoying the benefits. Um, if you do have any questions, I am in my white cell. I'm happy to answer anything. If you want to reach out to me directly, my phone number is at the end of the slide. Please feel free to call and ask any questions you may like. So well, with that being said, we'll go ahead and get it to Dr. Solem. My name is Dr. Joel Solem. I'm an optometrist in Minnesota, practicing at Focus Eye Care. Limelight is a product through Solution Reach that is an online scheduling software working through your practice managing software in real time. A patient can log in to make an appointment. It comes up for my staff. So the patient needs this time, goes right into the system. Limelight then notifies the patient to let them know that the slot that they have chosen is, is there. The whole process can take literally just minutes, uh, which is amazing. As I'm changing my schedule, because things come up. Uh, I have to go to a lecture or a presentation. Uh, I can 
change it just at one place. So I don't have to worry about patients uh, filling spots that I'm going to be gone at a lecture or a seminar or a vacation. I was leaving for a vacation and I wanted to make sure that my appointments were booking up as I got back. And I was amazed after just a short time of turning limelight on that all of those appointments were booking out, 30% were limelight, online booking, which is amazing. There's never an opening anymore. <laughs> so I'd like to encourage all of you, um, you know, I really wish I could just open up the line here, but if you have questions uh, specific to Limelight, go ahead and type them. You should have a little box there. I reached out to everybody and asked if you have any questions. Now's the time while we have our Limelight experts on the phone. Uh, don't be shy. I'll monitor it for a few seconds here if anybody's got any specific questions. Maybe I could ask you guys, uh, Justin, Stephanie, um, what are the, how would somebody get started? I mean, would they need to have Solution Reach first, the base program, and then they add Limelight on top of that, or how does this work? Oh, great question, Maddie. Um, right now, yes, you do need to be a Solution Reach customer to, in order to integrate and um, get set up with Limelight. So that is the requirement, and we are working to make it available to everybody, but for right now, you do need to have Solution Reach as, as the main, main base. Okay, and does, how does it, what systems does it integrate with? Are there any that it is not compatible with? Well, we've got a variety of, um, you know, practice softwares that we're thinking with right now, and obviously we're currently, you know, developing even more, so it would depend. You'll need to reach out. I mean, there's a lot to think of or be able to list, but uh, we do think with the majority. So um, probably okay. we are available for it. Okay. All right. We have a question from Andrew Jones. He wants to know, does the patient designate how they want me to contact them and confirm the appointment, like text, email, phone? Yes. Inside of the form that they would fill out on the Limelight page as part of their request, it's required for them to fill out their contact information, like an email address, phone number, as well as with the pop-up notification you get with the request, it has a way in which you can accept the appointment and it immediately notifies them uh, of that uh, response, that you're either accepting it or if you need to, to say there's a schedule conflict, there's a way in which you can respond immediately through that same program and notify them in real time that the request they made needs to be rescheduled because of a, a conflict and it gives them a link to the Limelight calendar again to allow them to request another appointment or call your office. Okay, we have lots of questions here, so I hope you guys are ready. Uh, first one from, yep, Tracy Singer. She wants to know, will the online appointment scheduler only show the days that were open? Will it show notes we have listed on our schedule for the time we've blocked out for specific events or reasons? Excellent question. Um, the blocks that you put on your schedule will be honored. So if you decide today you want to take the rest of the week off and don't want Limelight to show any more available openings, you can put a block on your schedule and it will respect that. And the real beauty of Limelight, like I said earlier, it's, it's not a generic calendar. It doesn't just display your normal business hours and, and ge generic appointment types to request. These are specific openings that are being read from your exact practice management software. So what's displayed on the calendar is what's being pulled from your system. So you don't have to look in multiple places to make changes. You just do business as usual. Put appointments in your system, put blocks in your system, and keep the schedule you're normally doing, and it will display that accurately online. Okay, Tracy, I hope that answered your question. Uh, we have a question from Elizabeth Roosh about, what about insurance eligibility? Okay, so great question. Um, we have a lot of offices that ask about insurance. On the form where you fill in, the, where the patient is filling in um, their patient information for the request, we do have two boxes where they can enter both vision insurance and medical if they have it. Um, it is optional, so it's not going to be something um, they have to enter to be able to make the appointment request. Um, if your office is one of such where they have to, you definitely verify before they come in. 
Um, what we like to do is on your you know, confirmation message that goes out, we can, um, we're working on actually getting a link there to your online forms, and so you can you know, have that go straight out to the patient once they've gotten the confirmation and they can send those informational forms back to you. Um, but it is not going to be like you absolutely know what insurance they have ahead of time. It's, it's going to be um, up to the patient to put that information in, and if they don't and you need it, you'll have to reach out to them you know, via text or email, or you can call. I mean, on that, I have to just say, as a consumer, um, I, I prefer to partner with service providers where I don't have to make the outbound phone call, just initiate mm -hmm. the process. But I don't mind, and I'm sure a lot of people feel this way, I don't mind getting a call to follow up. Hey, we see you book something online. I just want to confirm the details, and especially if you have questions around a vision plan and, and such. I mean, that would be, I think that would be fine. It really, I would think, just eliminates the need for that uh, person to initiate the process, and then, uh, of course, with the digital ads uh, is where I'm really a raving fan of this functionality. Oh, okay. okay, so we we have lots of questions about pricing as well, um, and what I'll tell you on the pricing, if you want to, you know, if you're if you're interested and you want to reach out to Solution Reach, reach out to Stephanie. Is, Stephanie, would they reach out to you for that information? Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay. You can reach out to my email or phone number. Um, it, I'll tell you it's $99 a month as an additional price to your solution reach. So it is a separate cost because it is a separate service. Um, with you being a part of this webinar, if you call and mention that to me, I'll definitely be able to help you out with pricing. We're, we've got a great promotional price for our offices that are participating with this webinar. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Okay. So all of you that have questions around pricing, uh, for either the base, the Solution Reach program, or Limelight, reach out to Stephanie, um, and she can help you. That'll be great. Any other questions? Um, looks like we we've covered all of them around the functionality. Um, so I hope that this, you know, again, I wanted to present the concept. I wanted to partner with a service provider um, that could provide some insight around how it works hopefully to alleviate any fear around kind of stepping up your game in the, in the, you know, the land of technology here and giving people this sort of convenience factor, because that's really what it is. Um, and then with external advertising, you know, it enables you to really have a solid call to action button and try to capture appointments right at the point of need or the point of interest rather than in, the, in, in business hours. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't eliminate the human touch. Uh, there's still plenty of outbound activity from your team that can happen, but I would think, I don't know, Stephanie, Justin, you guys tell me, I would think that teams that implement something like this report that there's less inbound calls and maybe less work on the team from the phones. It, I would think that it kind of splits that up inside the practice uh, if a lot of people are booking appointments online. Um, we know that this is the direction that it's headed, so... Um, you know, consider adding this uh, in, in 2017 for your marketing. Just make it real simple for people to do business with you. And if you have any questions, you know, around practice marketing or marketing in general, uh, feel free to reach out to me to book some time. We can talk through appointment scheduling or anything else, uh, especially di digital advertising is really my focus uh, for this year. And then uh, questions about Limelight, reach out to Stephanie. And I hope you enjoy today's webinar. Thank you so much for attending.